Hi everyone! As you've probably heard by now, there is some exciting news. The wreck of Ernest Shackleton's ship, the Endurance, has finally been discovered. Which is exciting news for maritime history and for undersea exploration. And it got me thinking. There's plenty of books out there about Ernest Shackleton, about the survival of the expedition. Indeed, some of the books are even called Endurance. And there's plenty of amazing, chilling, no pun intended, photos of the Endurance in its final moments before it was crushed and sunk. But what other books out there detail not only the ships, but also the various explorers that tried their best to reach out to those Antarctic lands for the sake of discovery and science? And there is one book that fits the bill, which I want to take you through today. Also, I'm going to do things a little differently because this book is a little uh, thick and heavy and I'm tired of bashing myself trying to open books. So you'll find up in this corner throughout the video interview screenshots, images taken of the interior of this book. Elements such as the plenty of the photos, the maps and the diagrams that this book has. But what is this book? And I'm about to tell you and show you. It is Ordeal by Ice by Rourke Bryan, published by Sheridan House. Now, this book, which is quite hefty, it's quite a hefty hardcover book, printed on beautiful thick stock as well, so that all the photos and all the diagrams and maps that you see are reproduced in absolute beautiful detail. Anyway, this book takes the perspective of looking at polar, oh, sorry, at Antarctic exploration from the early days, such as um, Chinese exploration, through to the days of sail, such as the Resolution, right through to the grand age of heroic exploration, such as Ernest Shackleton and the Endurance, all the way through to whaling, to modern tourism, and to the modern research ships, such as Ernest Shackleton, that study the seas and ice today. The book is comprehensive. It covers everything quite well. It is done in a concise manner, but also it is done through the perspective of ships and ship technology. And as no doubt you're seeing up above, the beautiful element of this book is not only the photos and some of the artwork, but also the plans and diagrams. There are plenty of cutaway views and cross sections of a variety of ships, a quite a comprehensive one as, as well. And we are not just limited to, you know, the famous ones such as the Endurance, but you've got Icebreakers, you've got the Whalers, which are absolutely fascinating, and we'll come to those way down later on in another review. As well as the various hardy little ships that did their best to smash through the ice. The Endurance it wasn't the only one that went down. There was also the Antarctica, which went down in 1907, and more recently, a polar expedition ship, the Explorer, formerly the Lindblad Explorer, also went down after striking an iceberg during a cruise on the 24th of November 2007. So, even today, ice exploration and even ice tourism is still quite dangerous. This book covers the whole gamut. It was published in 2011, so it takes everything right through up until the onset of mega cruise ships trying to do polar cruises. Thankfully that hasn't taken off yet. It is detailed, it is concise, it is lavishly illustrated, and it fills a interesting perspective within the whole Antarctic research field of literature. And for all of that, this book is an absolute five captain's hats. Wonderfully detailed, comprehensive, lavishly illustrated, beautifully produced. So, check it out. There's some fantastic information for those who are interested in the endurance uh, itself. It used to be known as the Polaris, and you will see some diagrams of that vessel up there, as well as the incredible photos of the ship rolling over and being crushed in its last terrible moments. There's a chapter devoted to that, as well as to the many, many, many other ones that went before and since. So, if you are 
absolutely into polar ex Antarctic exploration, polar Antarctic. If you are interested in exploration, if you're interested in rare ships, a lot of these vessels, especially the early ones, were just makeshift vessels that were uh, retrofitted for the duty, whereas some of the later ones were attempts to build strong ice-resistant ships, which were not always successful, even right through to the steel era. Some vessels have met their fate. I've already mentioned the Explorer. We also had the Nella Dam, which ran aground, burnt, and then was scuttled at sea there. There's plenty here to appeal to the readers who want those various elements, be it maritime history, technological history, exploration history, in even ship plans. You're getting plans and views of vessels and vessel types that are rarely covered. So do yourself a favour, check this book out, add it to your library. Five captain's hats, all the way. And until next time, enjoy and happy reading everyone!